All right, first up, guys, here for Nissan News. My article here is that there is a uh, a company in California that is repurposing old Nissan EV batteries and an, are earning millions by storing energy for California's power grid. I think this article really hits down into, I think, what this show is about, which is the obscure, the nerdy, uh, and Nissan. So this is exactly the article that I want to share with you guys Um before we get into it, you know, we Miles, we've actually covered similar articles in the past uh, about repurposing EV batteries for mm-hmm. other things aside from cars. Uh, a lot of them have actually been sponsored by Nissan. For example, Nissan is part of a, a group that will take some of these Leaf batteries that are 10, 5, you know, up to 10 or 12 years old now and repurpose them to power uh, freezers at convenience stores or the um, – uh, crossing signs for the railroad uh, tracks, for example. Uh, this one is actually uh, completely independent, though. Uh, but from what you see here, I had to go to PCMag.com to get this. That's how uh, nerdy this this article is, which uh, <laughs> says here that a Los Angeles company, uh, startup company uh, called B2U Technology is... Uh, uh, have, have come up with an innovative battery storage system. Uh, they're giving EV batteries a second life without having to dismantle them. So essentially, they're taking the battery from a salvaged or, or used EV car, uh, either from Nissan or Honda in this case, and they use it as is. They literally take that battery off uh, from the vehicle, and then uh, with their technology, primarily with the uh, connectivity, uh, connecting batteries uh, in series or parallel with uh, transformers, they're able to uh, store uh, energy that is generated from wind farms and from solar farms uh, in California. So uh, I'll share a screen- picture here. Of course, you can see here this is a solar farm. And then you've got dozens of these white containers with little cooling units on top that's where they're storing these batteries uh, uh stacking up i think it's like 30 con- 30 batteries per container uh in total though this company is utilizing 1300 used ev batteries they're able to store up to 25 megawatt hours of uh storage capacity and a lot of these batteries are saying are up to eight years old so i think nissan's only ev uh that's uh, you know eight years old or older would be the Nissan Leaf. So you could say this company's taking used Nissan Leafs, they're grabbing the batteries and using it here for their uh, solar farms and their wind farms. Uh, they're saying though uh, they store this battery, uh, they store this energy. It's carbon free, and then it's later sold ba- uh, to California. Uh, in the energy wholesale market, and they're saying that with a steady stream of used batteries becoming available this this uh uh business model that they have taking these used batteries is being very very profitable they said in the last year they've been able to earn a million dollars i believe that's above all your operating costs etc so um they're saying with these used batteries their capital they're having they're able to spend 40 percent less as opposed to buying a new battery so you know really it's a good point to show that if you've got a an EV car that the battery is just given out, it's still a good battery, it, it most likely. It's just not suitable anymore for road duty. However, it can be used on a number of different types of applications. So this is one of the applications that uh, I think we're going to be seeing this a lot more, of course, in the future. And, uh, you know, Miles, we're no stranger to this in Texas. Power grid's not too good. We could probably be seeing these in Texas pretty soon, too, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see we'll see but yeah i mean you know there's got to be it's a brave new world and you know we have to adapt that and there's got to be something that's got to be uh, there, there's got to be utilization for these um materials that are that are coming off of these vehicles and, and why not repurpose them um why not repurpose reuse and it just makes sense and, and that's a that's a good feel good man good job so <laughs> now now i will say this though miles before we move on to your article though ah, uh, nice place. the when I, you know, I, let's just say this, I'm a capitalist by nature. And so I start thinking 40% savings, uh, you know, millions of dollars. What are we talking here? I started looking, all right, 
I went to my local uh, Copart salvage insurance, and I started asking myself, how much are these leaves, man? If you can get a used leaf with all you, with the sole purpose is just to take that battery, what am I really spending here? And I just, I went through the, the bids, the current bids on some of these auctions uh, by, uh, I think the highest, the highest bid in some cases, Okay, highest bid, 4000 1600 1400 1300 7 I mean, you're getting down into even uh, you know, 300 range, 200 range mm -hmm. for a salvaged yeah. car. If that... Looking at just basic numbers, man, I think this, these guys have really got a really good idea doing yeah. what they're doing, repurposing they these are, batteries. And they, they won't be the first. Uh, they won't be the last, I should the say. Last. Um, you know, and you've seen this not only with uh, with Nissan, but uh, this isn't something new. Um, I, I've heard this from uh, folks taking the old Prius batteries, doing something similar. And then, mm. of course, um, we're seeing people do the Tesla batteries. But most people are taking the Tesla batteries and repurposing them into you know, vehicles that they're taking the Tesla motors and the, and the entire guts and, and they're using that um, still to power everything because Tesla's, uh, unfortunately, it is what it is. They're ahead of the game in that respect. But um, I think the cost-effective benefit is what, is what people are utilizing these. Exactly what you're looking at is these, uh, these bids and these transactions that are happening on the recycled market. Um, and yeah, you know, these vehicles do carry a, re a reasonable value. Um, but, you know, there's so many of all uh, that are out there and mm -hmm. the range years are getting vast. So if you fast forward to three, four or five years from now, you're going to see a lot of availability of these in the market. A lot yeah. of um, a lot of secondary businesses that are um, re reconditioning these, uh, which already exist. Um, yeah. But you're going to see I, I think that's going to be a big business uh, coming around here pretty soon. So I think so, too. Uh, I did want to mention too that in this article, uh, they did mention that this uh, this innovative uh, mm -hmm. battery storage system that they call it is patent pending. So I don't know. <laughs> there, there's there's ways around that I'm sure, but uh, I'm sure th I think there's going to be a lot of really good ways that businesses can be built based on this. Absolutely, um, absolutely, and it's going to be system. for all different types of markets. You're going to see everything from. Um, from uh, your guys that are like outlanding, um, you know, and wanting yeah. to have secondary battery systems to, um, you know, your, um, your live off the grid types. I mean, it's, 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 it's juice. So it, it, it's, it's universal options. For, I was uh, thinking exact, that's exactly so, what I wanted to ask you too. I'm glad yeah. you mentioned it because I know you to be somewhat of a, not a survivalist, but what to be as independent as possible you know we've always talked about you know uh gardening your own food uh your own uh water supply okay this is energy that you could create i wonder if there's like a diy i'm sure there is to where i'm sure a yeah, guy like uh, us can just buy a used leaf pull the battery you know maybe even an inverter and a few solar panels i'm and sure you just can create um, their own. i will say this before we caused anybody any serious injury. Um, <laughs> note that this is not a normal 12 volt that's just going to make your hair stand. Um, these will literally blacken your fingers type of uh, systems. These are high voltage systems. So you really kind of have to know what you're doing. Take all the proper precautions. Wear all the gloves. You don't want to be like new after day after New Year's with fireworks. <laughs> Um, you know, pop, you don't want your toenails popping off like popcorn. So short, I'm just short like, fuses. I only uh, say be this fine. because, you know, I dip my toe in this industry and uh, we have to kind of go through all the OSHA safe stuff when we're dismantling and inspecting vehicles, um, during, uh, during my, what I do on a normal day to day. So, that, but yeah, uh, with that being said, I hope so. Uh, just safety precautions in mind. So that's a good disclaimer. I'm glad you mentioned that because yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah that's there are many different cars with their operating systems or voltage systems being different ranges, uh, obviously greater than 12 volts. Uh, yeah. Safety third, guys. All right. <laughs>